Welcome back, another episode. Gonna strip this whole frame, what's left of it, and uh, that's it. Complete disassembly. So, let's go. Okay. So, um, make adjuster. Loosen this. I think gloves was a good idea because this is thick, greasy, oily. Okay, 40 mil nut. I'm just gonna come sliding out. There's a spring. Which gives you access nicely to this. It's just a split pin. So I have some little side cutters. Destroy this. Okay, something's coming totally free. Oh, okay. So let me put this back. So normally, the brake lever would be attached to the other other end, but I took that off. Got the exhaust, and that's the spring for spring attachment for the um, the switch. There she is. Looking good. That's a bit bent. But shouldn't be a problem. What I might do is reattach the brake lever. Okay, could do that later when we're tidying up. I'll do it now. like this I guess. Yeah. Okay. One piece off. <laughs> Um, like a thought link, balances, it sends the, so when the weight stops this rotating basically.
a not so moisture. spinning so it must be a bowl. like a um, spring washer weird unless it's snapped why would you have that and a split pin okay whatever right, looks okay Bolt like that. Now that's a stud, so for now we'll just put it back on. spindle off because I couldn't get the fan off the engine which is still sat there so nice big juicy pin Nut with a spanner.
spray, there's no washer. Right, some tubes. So there's a little pinch bolt. On this side, I don't know if you can see that, it's there. 12 mil job. So it's all come apart now. There's the spindle. And two concerning. Okay. I just wanted to get this fan off. Apparently, the rear spindle, before I end up packing everything away, slide it in and give it a tap, and the whole thing comes loose. A bit weird. It's on a tapered shaft. Okay, the fan is off, so it is just a tapered shaft, but you have to, you don't knock it, you screw it until it draws, pushes the fan off. Okay, all good in the end. The fan's cracked, I see, so. OK, 
Okay, where were we? We were talking about rear wheels. I'm following this book. It's a bit of a dummy's guide, but whatever. So it says we should come free. Now probably need to take these off at this point. At least this side. Okay, two washers on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, Said two on the top, one on the bottom. Anyway, we'll come back to that. This is, again, why well, it's always good to record. This washer was there. I did let the tire down just to, I thought it was going to be tight and it is, it's okay. But, you know. Voila, one rear wheel. What's loose here? Nothing's gonna fall off that side anyway. Okay, so I'll put that pinch bolt back. Needs to live with Drake really. And okay, so so three bolts. One was just hand tight. Okay, no washers. All good, Ivan. All good. Say hello. You're, you're live the world.
forks off. Simple enough. One little note if you're going to restore this front end. This, these are all ball bearings, so keep an eye. Thank you. 
and it wants to sit on its arse now. Uh, Stand. and it seems to be unscrewing.
no, it's actually screwed into place. So it's like a, there's a thread on the actual stand. this arrangement and then it's threaded and there's a nut on the other side I'll show you what it looks like uh, so in. Should tap out. Now I'm, I need a new spring if I'm going to use this. Not sure yet. Spot welded. It's quite ugly that. But we do need it for this. That's the only thing. Okay. Anyway. has been cropped. I think it has been dropped. You see this? It's bent. It's, well, it's only a bracket. I think the frame is okay. Same on the other side. I can whack them off as well. Here. That's damaged from the foot peg, someone's dropped it. You spring and the radiator's cracked. So, all the bits from today scattered everywhere. But apart from that, it's time for cleaning, frame fabrication, engine dismantling. Stay tuned.